How you doing today? We're going to talk about this bow shield rust remover and protectant for a table saw. I have no idea if it's going to work. So I've been using paste wax. If you hadn't seen that video, I'll drop a link in the description below on the paste wax for your table saw. This is supposed to remove rust and stains from the tabletop. This acts as a protectant. Brother Riff says if you use this, you won't go back to paste wax. So I'm going to give it a try. Also, my blade has got a lot of resin and gum build up on it from pine and spruce, stuff like that. It, this package comes with the resin and gum remover. I wanted to give that a try. We'll see if it works. How you doing? I'm Matt with 731woodworks.com. Today we're going to talk about getting rust off your table saw and a new protectant that I found that works better than paste wax. So this stuff was recommended by Brother Riv. If you don't know who Brother Riv is, go check out the video on where I unboxed the Wahunda jointer. I appreciate him so very much for giving me that jointer, but he also recommended me use this stuff on my table saw as well as the planer bed to make everything nice and smooth as well as protect it from rust. This is a waterproof protectant from metal. The package also included a blade and bit cleaner as well as a rust remover. What I didn't like was the smell of that rust remover. Woof! Man, that stuff is terrible. You can spray that in the car and there's no way she would believe that you didn't let one rip. <laughs> my, my daughter said it smelled like burned rubber. It smelled like burned something all right. The T9 lubricant, as well as the blade and bit cleaner, didn't have that smell. It doesn't have an overly offensive smell. That rust remover, it offends. If you want to be offended and get your stuff cleaned up, get it protected, go ahead and click that link down below in the description to go buy you a set of this. I recommend it. It works well. So drop a comment below and let me know what you use to clean your blades and bits with as well as what you clean the rust off and protect your table saw tops with. I'd be interested to know what you're using. So it comes in a package of three. All this comes together for about $24. Link in the description below to this product. If it works, you'll want to go check it out. I'll let you know at the end of the video if it's worth it. I don't have any scotch Bright pads, but I do have some Fort Alt stainless steel wool. So you see right here on this edge, I've got some good staining there. I think a lot of that comes from wood glue, straightening up things, but it's also got a little rust over the tabletop. I want to get this cleaned up and get it as smooth and slickety as possible. Slickety is slickety. Before you mess with your table saw, make certain that it's unplugged. Don't want to waste it. I'm going to remove this because it's made, it's my zero clearance insert. It's made out of MDF. I don't want it to get wet and or damaged and to give me better access to the blade. I think the first thing I want to do is use this blade and bit. It's a resin, gum, and pitch remover. Clean saw blades, router, bits, and cutting tools. All cutting tools. Uh, the directions just say to wet the blade thoroughly or wet the surface thoroughly. Allow to penetrate for 30 to 60 seconds and then wipe dry. Probably be best to take it off the saw. We'll try it like that and see what happens. I suppose I didn't realize how dirty that blade was, but this is working pretty good. It's coming off of there relative ease. It's hard to get to. I'm gonna take it off the saw because it'd be easier to get to, but I can tell this stuff's working. I didn't realize how much goo was zipped in those blades, in the inside the teeth of those blades. This here is really, it really dissolves it. If you see that, I mean, it's just coming right off of there. Yeah, I mean, I can take it with my fingers and just wipe it right out of there. Probably not supposed to put that stuff on your hand. I mean, you can see the goo coming off of it. If you wipe away from the bit or the away from the tooth, it comes in and gets in behind that tooth and gets that little stuck on crud off of there. And this is just four alt steel wool. I don't have any scotch bright pads, that'd probably be better. Kinda like flossing your teeth. Except for your flossing the tooth of the blade. Almost all of that come right off. Uh, there's a couple of ones like this one that you can see it's got just a little bit of that pitch left on it. That resin may take a little extra elbow grease. But I mean, it makes it, I mean, it dissolves it. All I'm doing now is taking a t-shirt, this old t-shirt, and just wiping between those teeth and it's pulling that gunk right out of there. This is going to be like a new blade when I'm done. I can tell that already. I mean, it comes right out too. No, hardly no effort there. So I can even tell already, you can feel it's a lot more sharp. You can just feel the sharpness on the teeth. It, it removed almost all of that stuff. You can see there's a little bit left behind some of those teeth that I would just really need to get in there and scrub on. But for the most part, within, I'd say less than 10 minutes, probably six or seven minutes, I got 95% of that old stuff off of there. This stuff works good. I'm actually impressed with the uh, blade and bit cleaner.
If you watched my zero clearance insert video a little bit back, it was really dirty in there. I vacuumed it out just for this video. So this is rust free, rust and stain remover. It says to spray it on the cloth and wipe it on here unless you've got tough spots and I've got some over there. And then it says to spray directly on. It says can cause eye and skin irritation or burns. So I'm gonna put on uh, some gloves. Doctor, doctor, doctor. So I'm just gonna, I got an old rag here. So on the major spots, I'm gonna just spray it directly on. <coughs> Stinks. It does have a pretty good chemical smell. So it's acidic. I can smell the acid. It's supposed to let this set 20 to 60 seconds scrub off. Stinks to high heaven. Whoa, smells terrible. It smells awful. Kinda like a wet fart. Oh. That's horrendous. Oh, the smell is awful. I'm glad I put gloves on for this because uh, that smell got on me. Whoa, Miss 731 would never believe that that was cleaner and not gas. So again, I got some steel wool and I'm just gonna scrub the rusty parts. Let's see if I can do that. <laughs> the smell is terrible, I'm telling you guys. The rust is coming up though, minimal effort. to even spray that stuff it stinks so this rust free works really well so within about five minutes i was able to remove almost every one of the rusty spots that are on this table saw uh, there's a couple of tiny little spots left that i could get just using this one i use it this stuff smells to high heaven Whew. but it works so i mean for a few minutes of smelly smell it cleans up the tabletop now we're going to put the protectant on use gloves with this stuff because i'm telling you if you use this stuff if you go in the house to your spouse smell this rust free stuff on your skin there's no way they're going to believe that this is some type of a rust remover so i'm telling you it is all gross so pretty much it just says to spray this stuff on there it's a rust and corrosion protectant it's bow shield t9 it was developed it says on the can by the boeing company so an airplane company it says to just spray it and let it dry it's gonna put a leaves a thin waxy film uh it says it's good for all types of stuff it even says table saws on there so we're gonna spray that on there let it dry and see what we get it's my daughter coming out what does it smell like don't get too close what does it smell like like burnt rubber? <laughs> Whip fart would have been the right answer. Close enough. Stuff's awful thick just to let dry. So this stuff just sprays on in a mist. Some on that fence. I like to get my side tables too. I'll take a clean rag and wipe this down because it's really thick. Shiny. It's so shiny. So this acts as a protectant as well as helps everything glide really smooth on your tabletop. And then you just, you wipe it on or spray it on, wipe the excess off and then let it dry. Brother Rev also sent me a new push stick because he was worried about my fingers. Thank you, sir. But wow, we let that dry. I'm going to reinstall my blade. So we used that blade and bit, cleaned the bit up, and it did a very good job. I, I recommend this, blade and bit. It's uh, by Bow Shield. They'll be linked in the description below to this package. The rust free, it worked, and it took very minimal effort. Uh, all the rust spots are gone off the saw. Uh, there's a couple tiny little spots that I could go back and hit with this stuff and get it off, but this stuff really works, and it works very fast. The only problem is it smells really bad, but a few minutes of sticky, and uh, get your rust off. And then finally, the Bow Shield T9. Uh, this is what Brother Rib had actually recommended was this T9. Uh, it's, it gives more of a it's a waterproof lubricant for metal so it works really well for this type application it's supposed to actually last longer than paste wax and it's supposed to protect better than paste wax line recommended it and for the price for $25 for this whole pack it was a really good deal I think so now that everything's dry yeah, yeah, she slides good I mean that thing is should have been a DJ this this slides really good and this stuff I like it so far I like it so I want to be certain that this doesn't rust because this is an absolutely amazing gift from Brother Riv. And I'm going to use this T9 on the top of this so that I never get any rust on this. And it makes everything glide a lot smoother. What I really don't want to do though is get any on those blades. Just going to spray it kind of liberally on there and just wipe it in. Never hurts to pop. I know that's aluminum back there. It's not going to rust. But if I can get this on there and it stays, it'll help everything glide a lot smoother. If it works as well as it did on the tabletop, which is this cast iron too, so it's going to work the same. But this will help everything glide nice and smooth. Now that'll help protect that top and I'll make sure that doesn't rust on me. So this has a little bit of pitch build up on it as well. It'll spray it right on its edge here. That's where all of it's at.
This is unplugged as well. Slatey smooth. If you're looking for a new product to help clean and protect your table saw, your planer, your jointer bed, anything that's made of, of metal or cast iron, this stuff is, it works. All I had was Brother Rib's recommendation that it worked, so I just took a chance and ordered it, tried it. I'm impressed with how well it worked. It cleaned up my tabletop really well. Of course, it wasn't overly rusted. I do keep paste wax on it. It does, it did have a few rusty spots starting to form on it because this is a garage and this is South Arkansas, so the humidity gets extremely high in the summertime. So I took the chance on this stuff it's 25 dollars you're not gonna be out a bunch affiliate link will be in the description below if you want to go check it out if you buy through that link it helps this channel out i greatly appreciate it i appreciate brother Rip for recommending this stuff it makes that top slickety smooth i mean it just slides on there it's, it's it's actually a little slicker than what paste wax usually is so i really like that this stuff is supposed to last longer it's more of a industrial grade protectant for metal so it should work a lot better and last a lot longer than paste wax because paste wax was never meant for that type of application even though we use it in the shop if you'll check that out, I think you'll be pleased with it. If you found this video useful, I have some more woodworking tips and tricks. Click that box right there. Take you to some more tips and tricks for woodworking to hopefully help you in your woodworking. Also, if you click this box right there, it's another one of my favorite videos. Check that out. If you click those boxes, you're getting that virtual fist bump. Clicking those boxes helps my channel out more than anything else you can do just to keep watching these videos. I thank you so much for the support. If you have any questions or if you have any comments about the products used today, just comment below.